going to be a hair, makeup, and outfit video for prom. Now, as you guys know, I'm well out of high school, so I don't have a prom to go to, but I thought I would make a video for you guys, hoping I'm not too late, for um, makeup and hair ideas for prom. As for the outfit, I was kindly send a, sent a dress from windsorstore.com. Obviously, I wasn't going to buy a dress just for this tutorial, so I thought I would show you guys a really awesome site that has really awesome prom dresses for really good prices. So yeah, that is going to be the video for today. If you guys are interested in seeing a hair and makeup look for prom, please keep on watching. Keep in mind that even though this is titled prom hair tutorial or makeup tutorial, this makeup and hair can be worn anytime you want to, anytime you see fitting, so it's not just obviously restricted for prom. So if your prom's over or something like that, still feel free to watch and kind of tune in because um, you can definitely wear this on any occasion. It doesn't really matter. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! To begin, I'm starting out by priming my eyes using a shimmery eye primer and I'm just going to place this directly onto my lids to make sure that my eyeshadow stays on all night. Next, taking a very gold shimmery color from the Naked 2 palette, I'm just going to pat that on my lid. And I'm just going to focus this directly onto my lid and build it to the intense color of gold that I like. Next, taking a matte, soft brown color, I'm just going to use that in the crease as a transition color to my brow bone. Next, I'm going to be taking a piece of tape and I'm just going to kind of press that on my hand a little bit just to get the stickiness off of it. And I'm just going to create a sharp line from the end of my eyelid out to create a very sharp outer V shape. Next, I'm taking this shimmery dark brown color and with a flat top eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to pat that into my outer corner. Having the tape there will ensure that the brown's not going to smudge outside of it and it'll give you a very defined line when you take the tape off. Now I'm taking a matte black color and I'm just going to place that on the very outer corner of my lid just to darken the look a little bit more. Make sure you focus this on the outer corner just to give a more smoky effect and it's not a big deal if you get it on the tape either, that's what it's for. So now with the same brush that we use that soft brown color, you're just going to smoke that out a little bit or kind of blend it out and you're going to keep the tape on it while you're blending it just so it kind of doesn't go on your face anymore. Now you're going to remove the tape and you're going to get this very nice defined line. And so now taking a matte beige color, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and put that onto my brow bone and use it to kind of smooth out that harsh line a little bit. You don't want to smooth it too much because then the tape was kind of pointless, but just enough to where it's not very harsh. Now going in back with that gold color, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and focus that on my inner corner. And then taking the dark brown color again, I'm going to focus that on the outer corner of my lower lash line. And I'm also going to use the black to do it on the very outer corner of my lash line just to darken the look a little bit more. Now I'm taking an eyeliner and I'm just going to line my water lines. Now with a felt tip liquid liner, I'm just going to line my top eyelid very, very softly with this eyeliner. So I'm just going to create a very small line. I don't want it to be too intense, but I'm definitely going to do it enough to where it defines my eyes. And I'm also going to slightly wing it out at the end just, just to kind of match the line that we created with the tape. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes in preparation for false eyelashes. Um, obviously these are optional, I just think they're kind of a fun excuse to wear them at prom. So I chose to use these Demi eyelashes that I purchased at Target and I'm just going to place that onto my upper lash line. Once the lashes are dry, I'm just going to apply a couple coats of mascara to blend in my real eyelashes with my fake ones. Now taking a soft pink blush, a very kind of muted blush, um, I'm just going to place that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm keeping the blush very light because I'm going to add a bold lip later. Now if you're going for more of a nude lip, you can definitely go more intense with your blush. So now for the lipstick, I'm taking this bright fuchsia colored lipstick from Revlon and I'm just going to place that onto my lips. Now I'm using the patting technique so it's not as intense as, as it would be if you were swiping it. And I'm also going to use my finger to kind of blend it out a little bit more. Now taking a kind of glossy, lighter pink color, I'm just going to place that with my finger directly over, to the, over the fuchsia to give it a little bit of shine and kind of mute the very bright pink that I have on my lips. Now once you're finished with that, that is the finished look. Now let's move on to hair. For the hair, I'm using freshly showered and blow dried hair and I'm just going to protect my hair by spraying it with some heat protectant. 
And then once the heat protectant is distributed, I'm just going to use a brush to kind of comb out any tangles. Now I'm going to section my hair off into parts starting from the bottom to the top. I like to start at my ears for this one and I'm just going to basically clip that section up. Splitting the hair into two sections from the back, I'm just going to split those next two sections into two and I'm going to be taking the Conair Infinity Wand, which is a curling wand that gets skinnier towards the bottom, and I'm just going to wrap the pieces of hair around the barrel away from my face. This look is going to give you kind of a very tight spirally curl, which I think is really fun for a formal occasion or anything like that. I think it's really fun and you can do a lot of different things with your hair curly like this. And another thing, it works great on any hair type, that's why I really like this curling curling iron because it works great with thick hair, thin hair, and also short versus long hair as well. So now the curling process that I'm using for this is very, very simple. All I'm doing is the same thing on both sides. I'm just wrapping it away from my face, splitting it into two sections. I'm taking fairly large sections because I don't want to have the look be very super curly, but I do want it to kind of have that wave-like effect. And by taking bigger sections of hair, it will give you that more so than taking smaller sections because the curls will be tighter in that way. So now I'm just taking my hair down and splitting it into another section and I'm just going to basically do the same thing throughout my entire hair. Now to give my hair some volume, I am going to tease the crown of my hair. Um, I think this is really important when you're kind of going for kind of a formal setting because you want your hair to be kind of big and full and you can do a lot more with it and do different kind of updos with it as well. So now I'm just taking a wide tooth comb and I'm just going to gently comb out the curls just to kind of blend them in together. I just think this gives a very pretty and natural look. Now if you want to, you can leave your hair like this and just kind of keep it down if you want to. I think this is very pretty as well. Otherwise, I'll show you kind of a different way to change it up. So I'm just taking a small section from one of the sides of my hair and I'm just going to basically just braid that all the way down, starting from about eye level. Now all I'm gonna do is bring that back to the middle of my hair and simply secure it with a bobby pin. Now on the other section of my hair, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. So just take kind of like a medium section from your hair and begin braiding it eye level down. And then once you're done with that, you're just going to meet it in the back with the other one and just kind of simply pin that in place as well. This is kind of just like a simple twist to just your hair being down. I think it's really pretty and I think this kind of look looks great with strapless dresses. So as you can see, the braid in the back gives it kind of a nice little formal touch to it. And that is it for the hair. Now let's move on to the dress. This dress is seriously one of the, my favorites, favorite dresses. I wish I had owned it when I was in prom because I think it is seriously the cutest dress ever. I love the gold detailing on it. I think it's really, really pretty and it is very comfortable. I just feel like so fun and girly in this dress and I absolutely love it. And I, like I said before, I love the gold detailing mixed with the cream. I just think it is so pretty. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it and helped you out for prom ideas. Have a very happy prom and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys! Hey everyone, it's Tess. Okay, do I look naked? Oh my god, I'm starving. I'm talking too fast because I'm trying to beat the battery. I will not film an intro when you're sitting in here because I can't do it because you make me laugh. What am I going to do now, now that I have, I look like I'm ready to go to prom? Ready, set, go! <laughs> <laughs> no, because I move all the time. Hey everyone! Let's see how long I can do it without with you behind me. Okay. Okay. Oh my god.